If you hate spam like I do, you definitely want to stop sharing your personal email. There's a deal that's going on right now that lets you generate unlimited emails instantly so you can do all your signups and testing that you want without having to use your personal email. Plus, you can turn these off whenever you want. Let me show you the deal right now. All right, so let's dig into Proxy Mail, which it's currently right now in a lifetime deal for only $10. Yes, you only pay that and no monthly payments or yearly payments. Now you can generate unlimited emails and there's a bun bunch of features that you can do with Proxy Mail. Now, what does it actually do? Well, it lets you generate temporary or fixed emails that you can turn on or off whenever you want. The idea is to use these temporary emails so you can sign up for any account that you want out there, take advantage of the free trial. And if you like it, then go ahead and use your personal email. Now, you can also use this to keep it on and just use that email and forward those emails to your personal email. Sounds kind of weird, but I'm going to explain on this video. So the deal right now is 10 bucks and you get all of this for $10, which is honestly really affordable, right? So right now I already have proxy mail going on right now and it's super easy to generate a email with it, okay? So you don't have to do any signups, you don't have to do any connections to domains, etc. But yes, you can connect your own custom domain, which is a pretty cool thing. I'll show you that in a bit, okay? So right now, this is a way that I can generate an email. And in this case, I'm going to do testing one, two, three, four, five. And then I get to choose the domain that I want to use. In this case, these domains are provided by default by proxy mail. So that means that if I choose this one right here, it's this is going to be the email testing one, two, three, four, five at pxdmail.com. And it's going to forward the emails to my email and I can use any email that I want right here. Another big advantage is that if I later in the future change this main email, all I have to do is update it and I'll be good to go. I can still use this email that I generated in proxy mail. So it's a pretty cool thing, right? So let me go ahead and generate this. And this is going to be instant right now. I will have this email ready to go and I'll be able to use this to sign up in at any account that I want. So I can do testing. I can do whatever I want with that email and I'll be forward those emails to my main email, which is the beauty about this. I am not sharing my main email. Now, what if I want to sign up to somewhere? Well, I'll use my best email right here. And then once I'm done with it, I can go ahead and just go ahead and disable it. That's as easy as that. Now there's features going on right here in proxy mail that makes it really interesting and make it more robust. Things like, for example, I can store a password that I use somewhere else. So for example, I can enter a password that I use for the proxy email to generate. So I can generate a password. I can go ahead and save this and I can use that password where I, wherever I use this email. That way I don't have to save that password somewhere else. So if I'm using this to sign up, I don't have to save that email and password wherever I used it, but I'm going to know that this is the password since I saved it right here. I can also add websites where I use this email and this helps me keep track of the email that I generated. So I can add a website where I used it. I can say Google, a Bing, etc., wherever I use this to sign up. And I, I add those websites right here, which is pretty cool, right? So all that's available with this. Plus, there's also a feature that's called AI bots. Now, this one is kind of limited, but I think it's a cool feature if the limits were a bit better. So with this, you'll get up to 50 messages limit with proxy mail using chat GPT. Now, what does that do? Well, let's go into the AI bots right here. And what it's going to do is that I can give this a prompt to work once someone sends me an email, it'll auto reply using AI. Now, in this case, there's an example of this prompt right here where someone sends the location where they want to ship inside of in this case, uh, France. I think it is. Yeah, here, here's France. And it'll auto generate the, uh, the, the amount and it's going to reply that amount to you. Now, let me give you an example since I already tested this. OK, so here's an example using that prompt for testing. I sent out this email. What is the price to ship to Paris? So just a simple email. And this is the reply that I got. So thank you for your query you, to provide you an accurate price for shipping to Paris. Could you please provide me the location you were shipping from? So yes, I provided the response to this and it does work. Okay. So in this case, I said delivered to Lyon, which is the city in Paris. So it's going to calculate the kilometers and it's going to give you the price. Okay. So here it is 472 kilometers. So the price estimated is going to be 240 euros with 72 cents. And that's because this is the prompt that was used. Yes, you can use your own prompt right here to reply to emails using this right here. You can select the model 
In this case, the best one would be use GPT 4.0, which is what's provided as of this video. And it's just super easy to use. So you create the bot and there's also the option to create a webhook with this. So you can use AI bot or use custom for this. So it's pretty cool feature there and not too complete if you ask me. Plus the limit is kind of limited, but you get that option if you want to use it for the AI bot there, okay? You can also set up the webhook as I, as I mentioned, and there's also an option to send emails through the proxied mail. How does that work? Well, let's go into send to contacts. There we go. And I'm going to tell it to send it to the, this email, for example. Okay, so I'm going to create a contact and this is what is going to go on. So in order for me to send an email to that person, I have to send it through this email. So I'll go ahead and copy the reverse proxy. I'll send out an email through this one and it's going to use the generated email and it's going to send it out through that email. So again, I am not using my personal email since I am using the option to send contacts via the proxy mail. So it's a pretty cool feature again. So several features available, but the main thing about this is generating these emails so you can start using them to sign up for accounts that are just for testing and you don't want to use your personal email because even sometimes you just go ahead and unsubscribe and you still get emails. So it's kind of annoying. Now you also have the option to add your own custom domain through this option. So if you go to manage right here, the downside about this is that you have to buy the domain as of this video. So I'm not sure if they're going to add a feature where you can use your own domain and connect it via DNS. So in this case, I have to actually register a domain in order to use this. So here it is registration cost $14 for the first year. And I can go ahead and use the custom domain that I just purchased. So it's another option there. I mean, it's, you don't have to use that, but that is an option for you in case you don't want to use provided domains that are provided by proxy mail. But in overall features, I think proxy mail is a great deal for what you're going to pay because 10 bucks, you're not going to get anything cheaper, but that's going to give you these features for that price. So remember, that's a lifetime deal price link provided in the description. It's an affiliate link. So if you buy through that link, it won't cost you a single cent more than what it already says there. And that's a wrap.